Hello mga kawanderham Ang video natin ngayon ay learning task 3B ng week 7 ng grade 8 tungkol pa rin sa conditional converse at by conditional statements So, sabi dito, determine which statements in A both the conditional and converse statements are true Write it in by conditional statement So, ito yung letter B Pero ito yung mga statements sa letter A 1 to 10 So, ang sabi sa instruction natin Dedetermine daw natin kung Aling statements dito ang True yung conditional at converse statements Kapag true sila pareho Susulat mo sa by conditional statement Ang by conditional statement Yun yung may If and only if so gagawin mong ganun na statement na may if and only if kapag true sila pareho so tingnan natin ang number 1 vegetables are good for your health so ang conditional statement nyan pag ginawa mo siyang conditional statement um, if it is a vegetable then it is good for your health pag converse naman pag binaliktad mo uh, if it is good for your health it is a, veg a vegetable so yung converse nya mali kasi hindi basta good for your health ay vegetable pwede namang prutas, pwede namang kahit ano, gata so, basta hindi lahat ng good for your health ay vegetable so yung converse nya ay hindi true hindi mo na siya gagawing by conditional so lagpasan mo na yan hindi na yan eto naman number 2, 3x plus 8 equals 14 x equals 2 Ang conditional nyan, if 3x plus 8 is equal to 14, then x equals 2. Tama. Pag binaliktad mo naman, if x equals 2, then 3x plus 8 equals 14. Tama din yun. So, pag tama pareho, gagawin mong by conditional statement. So, ganito mo siya isusulat. So, by conditional, 3x plus 8 equals 14. If and only if x equals 2. O, ganun lang <clears throat> number 3 naman a right triangle has a 90 degree angle gawin mong conditional statement um, if it is a right triangle then it has a 90 degree angle converse naman if it has a 90 degree angle then it's a right triangle so tam mukhang tama naman siya pareho so gawin mo siyang uh, by conditional, lalagyan mo ng if and only if it is a it is a right it is a right triangle uh, if and only if it has a 90 degree angle so next, an eagle is a bird. Ang conditional, if it is an eagle, it is a bird. Tama. Converse, if it is a bird, then it is an eagle. Mali, kasi hindi lahat ng bird ay eagle. So, lagpasan natin yan. Uh, a whale is a mammal. If it is a whale, it is a mammal. Tama. Uh, if it is a mammal, then it is a whale. Mali, dahil hindi lahat ng mammal ay whale. So, lagpasan din natin yan. Hindi natin gagawing by conditional yan. Next, two circles, two circles with equal diameters are congruent. Um, so, kapag ginawa mong conditional, magiging, uh, if two circles are congruent, then their diameters are equal. So, tama siya. Pag dalawang circle ay congruent, parehas ang diameter. Pag ginawa mong converse, if uh, if their diameters are equal then two circles are congruent so tama din so gawin natin siyang by conditional dahil parehas na true ang ang conditional at converse statement so sulat natin yung hypothesis two circles are congruent congruent tapos if and only if if and only if uh, their diameters are equal 
two circles are congruent if and only if their diameters are equal. Uh, next, number 7. An angle that measures between 90 and 180 degrees is obtuse angle. So, ang conditional niyan, if the measure of the angle is between 90 and 80 degrees, then the angle is obtuse. So, tama. Kapag binaliktad mo naman, if the angle is obtuse, then the measure of the angle is between 90 and 80 degrees. Tama din. So, true pareho, kaya pwede mo na siyang gawing conditional statement. Ay, by conditional statement pala. So, the measure of the angle is between 90 and 180 degrees. Yan yung hypothesis natin. If and only if yung conclusion if and only if the angle is obtuse. Okay, next number 8. Uh, two planes with no common point are parallel. So, ang conditional niya ay um, if two planes have no common point then they are parallel. Tama. Uh, ang converse naman, if, uh, if they are parallel then two planes have no common point. So, tama din. Kaya, pwede natin gawing by conditional. Two planes have no common point. Ito yung hypothesis, hypothesis. Have no common point. If and only if they are parallel. They are parallel. Uh, okay, number 9 Carrot is rich in vitamin A uh, Conditional If it is a carrot, then it is rich in vitamin A Converse If it is rich in vitamin A, then it is a carrot Mali, dahil hindi lahat ng rich ng vitamin A ay carrot So, hindi natin yung gagawin Number 10 All reptiles have scales uh, If it is a reptile, then it has a scale It has scales, tama if it, if it has scales, then it is a reptile. Mali, hindi lahat ng may scales ay reptile. So, hindi natin ito gagawin by conditional. So, yan po ang ating sagot sa ating learning task 3B, week 7 ng grade 8. Shoutout portion na po tayo. Shoutout sa ating mga kawanderham na sina Princess Robaro, Hurricane V2, J. Lopez, Rivera Motion, Marvic Don Bocala, Ramia Gabriel De Guia, LJ Dotig, Christopher Huelba, Trixie Mabuti, Jenny Baleta, Ian Aldrich Gorospe, Sad Sakuraso, Kaiser Librea, 01 Bear 10, Rian Albor 986, Melissa Lourdes Silva, Captain Sagara, Ashley Illumin, Jinix Janax, Jixnix Janax, Verlin Bacani, Kenneth Rajano, Unstoppable Plays PH. Yon, salamat po sa inyong pagsuporta sa ating YouTube channel. Kung may natutunan po kayo sa video na ito, please like, share sa inyong mga classmate, best friend, tropa at crush. At pa-subscribe niyo na rin sila sa ating YouTube channel. Bye-bye!